Hey guys, what's up? By uh, Detron here from One Hive Gazette, here with the next video, and this one is on Town Hall 10 versus Town Hall 11 two-star attempts. They are way more important in war than they are valued. I think they're, they're way undervalued um, because oftentimes they are the difference in these wars in two ways. They free up the attacks for other people to try to go for three stars on different bases. And also, if it comes down to percentage, which it sometimes does in CWL type wars and stuff like that, um, the percentage on these bases that are two starred is what's going to make the difference, of course. So these are important attacks, and I want to show you guys some variety, some stuff that you can use other than just the uh, the bowlers, the mass bowler, or the Valk baby dragon. Those are two popular strategies that I've talked about in depth before on this channel. Um, but today we're going to focus on a few other techniques that have been emerging that also can be very effective. This was kind of a farming war, uh, kind of an engineered clan, but they didn't have that good of offense even though they were engineered. Um, so not a whole lot of fun for us to, uh, to do this war. We're actually kind of spread thin on some attacks, but um, not really a whole lot to pay attention to besides some of these nice attacks on the Town Hall 11s. Very good practice for our Town Hall 10s to be able to experiment in a war that wasn't really that important. So starting off here with Big Sub Zero, and of course it's still using the bowlers. They're a staple at Town Hall 10 uh, for these two-star attempts. They are good at getting in there, getting the Town Hall taken out, and the compact bases, which you often see at Town Hall 11. I mean, the base is so big, it kind of has to be compact. Uh, these the bowlers are good at getting the second bounce. They get great value, good t uh, DPS per throw uh, because it doubles, of course, when they get the second bounce. So I love Town Hall 10v11 attacks because it takes such little like uh, details and planning and stuff more than you might think. Even though it's not a three-star attempt, there's uh, a very delicate balance um, because time doesn't matter. It's very hard to run out of time. The main uh, commodity that you have to balance, um, the main resource, I guess, that you have is the, uh, the limited amount of troop space because you have to invest troop space in two different things. First, in getting the town hall, a town hall dive, but also in percentage. So you have to do just enough to get the town hall and then everything else to get as much percentage as possible. But if you take too much of a risk, you might get 60%, but not the town hall. So it's a very delicate balance. Uh, Big Sub Zero does what's a, a good idea. He gets the percentage at the beginning, and that's a good thing to do because that way the eagle is not an issue. In case it doesn't go down, it can't uh, you know snipe your minions or archers or whatever because it has full coverage of the entire map if your kill squad doesn't get it. So he gets the percentage at the beginning for the most part. Now he doesn't invest that much troop space in percentage most of it's in the town hall dive but on this base particularly a lot of percentage is included in the town hall dive some bases the town hall is very isolated and if you do a town hall dive you might only get about 20 percent this base wasn't the case there was a whole lot of uh, trash buildings uh, you know accumulated around it so you got to be very aware as a town hall 10 doing these attacks as to where the percentage in the base is and if it's not by the town hall typically it'll be easier to get to the town hall but you'll have to invest less because there won't be as much percentage achieved in that town hall dive and you'll have to invest more troop space in getting percentage other ways a queen walk's a great way to do it as sarah does here i believe this is actually a guy even though the account's name is sarah um, kind of like a second account type thing. So anyway, uh, comes in with the queen walk here, has to pop the ability unfortunately uh, because of all the DPS from the CC troops, but <clears throat> no big deal, has plenty of rages for the queen, and she'll step in here, take out all these buildings, uh, the infernos can't get her of course, and gets great value. The dragons are a very interesting uh, attack because basically what you're doing is everything is percentage and funneling, and then the 80 troop space plus the CC, which is what is used in this attack, um, is just to get maybe five or six buildings, really. It's mainly for that town hall. You're not going to get much else for it. It's used on these attacks where the town hall is very isolated um, because the dragons are good at um, the walls don't affect them, of course. If you can create a nice wide funnel and leave a few buildings to draw them in, the dragons are your best bet on some bases that are very... Um, I don't know how you would say it, the town hall is very isolated 
as it is on this base. Um, actually pretty common type of base uh, this one is. So the queen does her job, she steps up, she gets all these buildings taken out, drops the golem on the other side with the bowlers behind, nice second bounce there on the Tesla, and also a nice second bounce in the cannon, actually doesn't quite get the cannon, but um, right here they'll step up and get all these buildings. King coming in, um, still has a rage, still has a freeze left up. Uh, pops the king's ability right here um, very soon, I think he does. The queen, meanwhile, was getting great value. Uh, she'll get another three or four buildings before she goes down. Uh, so great stuff on that side. Uh, probably not the best value. Um, would have liked to get that storage probably because the funnel isn't perfect. The expo is up, which is important because that's what's going to draw the dragons in. But besides that, um, really not that great of a funnel now right here he probably could have dropped the dragons a little bit earlier because he's lucky the uh eagle is targeting the healers actually now it switched off it was targeting the healers for a while so could have taken a little bit more advantage of that but still those dragons aren't going to be that affected by the eagle he has the freeze which will drop right here and then he has the rage mainly just for those dragons that are on the town hall i almost would have froze the air defense it seems like more of a threat to the dragons than the inferno tower is but um not that big of a deal. He has the 50% right here uh, with the minion and the dragons getting that uh, air defense right there. So good stuff. Nice attack to Sarah. These attacks tend to be a little bit closer, but um, sometimes you can rack up some percentage if your queen just goes off or something or if you know things just go great for you and your dragons can push through a lot of the base, but they tend to have a less of an upside, but can be a little bit more consistent against these weird bases that have the town hall so set back from all other buildings. Lastly, let's take a look at Big Sub Zero um, using Valks and Pekkas. Uh, he used Bowlers and Pekkas in the first one, now Valks and Pekkas. You can really use what's best. This base, of course, has a lot of buildings that are touching, which is good for Valks. Also good for bowlers, the compact bases work well. It's really whatever you think is the most appropriate choice. The Valks are you know, more powerful, have more uh, HP, so they tend, they'll tend to uh, be a little bit more reliable against giant bombs and the eagle, uh, assuming you can get them where they need to go because they don't have the same range and they often are more distracted than the bowlers. So it's kind of a, a trade-off. Everything at this level is a trade-off in terms of percentage versus town hall and the different troops themselves. So Big Sub-Zero coming in with the Queen Walk. Go ahead and fast forward just a little bit because um, it's a little bit boring here. Just steps up, takes this stuff out, drops the Rage. Um, a lot of point defense, but the Rage is enough. Pops the ability because she was getting a little bit low. Another Rage. You really got to douse her in these, uh, these things to keep her up when there's this much DPS, especially at Town Hall 11. Now right here, the uh, Inferno gets on her, unfortunately. But she's done her job, you know, not great. Would have liked to have the ability. Um, I guess he was planning on using the ability for that part of the base. He had to use it prematurely. So not as much uh, percentage as he would have liked, but all good. Um, the Rage is down to help the Bowlers, the Pekkas move forward. And even though the Bowlers get destroyed by all these giant bombs, the Pekkas are still up, which is something that not a lot of other troops have the benefit of, is they're so tanky, um, especially with those healers that peeled off onto them. They can get to the base um, pretty far, despite all these little uh, things that are going wrong. The Valks come in, though, descends in those 10 Valks with the jump. And similar to the Dragons, the Valks are just getting about three or four buildings, then they're down, but they're the Town Hall push troops. So like I said, it's a balance. What troops are going for the Town Hall? What troops are going for percentage? In the mass boulder attacks, it's a little bit less of a clear distinction because everything's going for both percentage and the Town Hall. But often in these attacks with Valks or in the Dragon attacks, you have the Dragons or the Valks specifically for the Town Hall. Everything else is to get percentage. I tend to like those attacks better because you can allocate the troop space uh, for each goal depending on the base, but it's really your choice. Those are some attacks. Hope they helped. Hope you guys liked the video. Remember, get the cleanup troops down at the beginning. That's going to make it so the eagle can't target them at the end because that would really suck to have the eagle take out your archers as they shoot like an army camp or something. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bisectatron out.